The world also lost fitness guru Richard Simmons just one day after his 76th birthday. You know, Richard was a man who loved the spotlight. But in his last decade, he lived as a recluse behind the gates of this Beverly Hills mansion. And that is where his brother Lenny spoke to Nichelle exclusively about Richard's final moments. It was really a shock. He wasn't feeling real well that day because he said he thought he'd had some food poisoning, but he was getting better and he was just going to go to bed a little bit early. My soul just sunk. We have uh, checked with the coroner. Basically, they said it was probably just a natural death, but they don't believe that there was any real problem. He just unfortunately passed. This was the scene here Saturday, Richard's body being carried away to the coroner's van after his live-in housekeeper called 911. Paparazzi were on the ground and overhead of his mansion as they had been in recent years over concerns the once vibrant fitness advocate had disappeared. The Slimmins gym founder blamed his public absence on a knee injury when E.T. spoke to him via phone in 2016. His last TV interview. No, I'm not kidnapped. I'm at peace and I just need some time. When was the last time you saw Richard in person? It's probably been about six and a half years. He just wanted to be alone. Do you feel like he was starting to come out of that period? Oh, I felt more than that. He had come back. Our friends were reading all the posts. He was being witty again. We don't get a choice on how we're going to die, but we do get a choice on how we're going to live. You made a mistake! But that's okay, we can fix it. I'm the only one around to make him smile and make him feel good and give him hope. And it's, you know, I'm a clown, but it's a very hard job. Richard and Lenny, who are 20 months apart, grew up in New Orleans. As a kid, Richard sold candy to tourists. After Hurricane Katrina, he brought E.T. to his childhood home. This is the house that I was born and raised in. I was 200 pounds in the eighth grade. I was the fattest kid in school. I was always told that I was gonna grow up to be nothing but a big fat zero. I lost 137 pounds and came to Los Angeles and opened my studio up. I felt that I needed to help other people. He was the kind of guy that you never thought was gonna go away. Sweetest man in the history of the world. I spoke with Richard's friend, former Nickelodeon host, Mark Summers today. At guy we saw on TV. A lot of people were wondering, oh, when does the act end and where does the man begin? There was no difference, was there? No, there was no act. Uh, he was big and he was loud. When yeah. I heard about the, the, the reclusive situation towards the end, I understood it, Kevin, and I'll tell you why. Nobody well, gave 120% of energy like Richard did. And I just think he was exhausted after putting in all that time that he needed some time to himself I love him, I miss him. Paulie Shore, who publicly sparred with Richard over portraying him in a biopic, posted a tribute saying, I hope you're at peace. Before his passing, Richard was working on a Broadway musical about his life and another project for ABC. Tell me about the documentary that um, was in the works about Richard. I think he wanted to tell his story to, uh, to tell people that there is hope in the world that you can do it, you can work hard, you can lose weight. He was writing songs on the musical, maybe you didn't hear this, uh, when it happens, where the uh, orchestra pit is, they are talking about having people getting up there and exercising to it. Why do they like me? Legendary songwriter Patrick Leonard shared one of the songs he and Richard I'm completed sorry. for the musical. How far along were you? I think there's about eight or 10 songs. It's all very autobiographical to tell the story from his uh, point of view. And it should go on because it was his dream. I bet it still happens because the life that he led uh, needs to be told over and over again because there are not many humans around on this planet today that are the quality of human that, that Richard Simmons was. I call 100 overweight people a day, get them motivated, inspired, I teach classes. You know, this is what God wanted me to do until he takes me to that little aerobic studio in the sky.